when i saw this concern coming up over and over again i decided to do research on list of universities in the united states that are offering admission to international students with gpa that is less than 3.0 Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Monolo Ogleye. Since I've been interacting with people since I started this channel, one concern that I've seen lots of people express to me privately is their concern about their GPA. Because most of the US university has a minimum requirement of 3.0 GPA for you to be able to apply to grad school in the United States. And the truth is that there are many people for so many reasons their GPA when they're converted from their university's grade to the equivalent in the United States may not meet that 3.0 GPA and many of them have given up of giving up on applying to grad school as an international student to further their graduate program in the United States. But I have a good news for you. When I saw this concern coming up over and over again, I decided to do research on list of universities in the United States that are offering admission to international students with GPA that is less than 3.0. I have some universities that their GPA is like 2.7, 2.6, 2.65, and I'm going to compile a list of these universities to help you take that bold step to apply to grad school in the United States as an international student. But before we go any further in today's video, have you subscribed? If you've not subscribed, please kindly subscribe. Your subscription means a lot to me. Subscribe to this channel, turn on notification bell so that when videos come on this platform, you'll be notified immediately. Don't allow your GPA, stop your dream, stop you from taking that baby step to pursuing your graduate program in the United States. So now let's dive into the list of universities in the United States that are admitting students with GPA that is less than 3.0. The first university on this list is Minot State University and the acceptance rate is 93.2%. The application fee is about $35, which is very cheap. Now, regarding their GPA, their GPA required for you to apply to this school. Your undergraduate GPA has to be around 2.75. So if you're looking for a school and you know your GPA is very low, this is one school that you should consider regarding grad school in the United States. Now, the next university on the list is University of North Dakota, and the acceptance rate is 83.3%. Now, regarding their GPA, your GPA required to apply to the school is 2.75, and if you are applying for Master's of Engineering, it's 2.5. So please check out this university. Also, this university have funding opportunity that you can apply to. So to be considered for teaching assistantship, you need to take TOEFL to increase your chance of you getting admitted and also having funding in this university. Now, regarding their financial aid and funding, 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 they have graduate assistantship for their students and this will help them cover their tuition and monthly stipend and everything. So please check out this university. Regardless of the fact that you have a low GPA, still check out this university if you want to apply to grad school here in the United States. Now, the next university on this list is University of Nevada in Reno, and the acceptance rate is 85.6%. Now, for graduate school application for international students, the required GPA is... 2.75 if you're applying for master's degree and 3.0 for doctoral degree so this is another school you can check out do not allow your low gpa stop you from applying and pursuing your dream to apply to grad school please check out this university also so the next university on this list is northeastern illinois university and the acceptance rate is 63 percent which is very high so regarding their grad school application the required gpa for graduate students even it also apply for international students is a 2.75 for higher and a 4.0 skill so please check out this university so the next university on this list is university of chicago i recommend this school it's a very good school now regarding their gpa there is no minimum gpa or required test score that means that many people can actually apply to the school all that they required is academic and extracurricular record, essay letter recommendation. So please take advantage of the opportunity that this university have to offer you in your grad school journey. So the next university is Wright State University and the acceptance rate is 95.2%. Now regarding the admission, you need a 2.7 GPA or an overall undergraduate GPA at least of 2.5, but with a 3.0 or better for the last 90 
quarter hours or 60 semester hours according to the undergraduate program so that means that you need at least 2.5 to 2.7 so the next university is miami university and the acceptance rate is 87.9 percent now regarding their graduate school application requirements for the gpa you need about 2.75 for you to meet the requirements regarding the grade point average so please check out this university this university is a very good school based on my research so far and they also have funding opportunities so students who do not meet the minimum criteria for regular admission will be will be granted a conditional admission so please check out this university the next university on this list is illinois state university with an acceptance rate of 86.2%. And regarding the graduate admission requirements, especially particularly for their GPA, applicants are required to have about a minimum of 2.8 GPA. So please check out this university. This university, as I say, they have funding. And apart from the fact that your, low, your GPA is low, it can also take advantage of their scholarship opportunity. So the next university on this list is University of Wisconsin in La Crosse, and the acceptance rate is 74%, which is very high. Regarding the GPA requirement for grad, grad school application, applicants are required to have a minimum of 2.8 for their 2.85 as a requirement for their gpa so the next university is mississippi state university and the acceptance rate is 75.2 percent which is very high now this is for the department of biological science now the minimum gpa is 2.75 on the last two years of undergraduate program or any other graduate work and a submission of a GRE score. So now we this university do not require a GRE. So apply to the school. The next university on this list is University of Pennsylvania and the acceptance rate is seven percent, which is the lowest on this list. Now regarding their grad school application, although the Fox Graduate School has no minimum grade point requirement for admission, an applicant is generally expected to maintain a junior senior grade points average of at least 2.5 for you to be able to gain admission to the school so please check out this school the next university on this list is norfolk university and the acceptance rate is 89.5 percent which is very very high now regarding their gpa requirement for you to be able to apply to grad school in this university you are required to have a minimum gpa of 2.5 on a 4.0 g point scale kill so please check out this university take advantage of that which they have to offer you this university also have funding opportunities so please apply to this school take advantage of a funding opportunity and i'm looking forward to seeing you in the united states now the next university on this list is california state university in los angeles and the acceptance rate is 87 percent which is very high for that kind of university now their gpa requirement for you to be able to apply to this school is 2.5 minimum from your undergraduate program so i find this very good because california is a very good state for international students now the next university on this list is central michigan university and the acceptance rate is 78.9 percent now regarding the minimum gpa for graduate school application it is 2.7 so please once again take advantage look out for this school check out what they have to offer and as i said they also have graduate students a graduate assistantship both full-time and half-time graduate assistantship so please check out this university and that which they have to offer you as an international student the next university is we know now state university and the acceptance rate is 73.7 percent which is very high now regarding their gpa requirement you must have at least 2.5 gpa so once again check out this university it's a new university and the acceptance rate is pretty high so check that which they have to offer you the next university is north carolina center university now regarding the gpa requirement for you to be able to apply to this university and their graduate program you need a minimum of 2.75 gpa some program actually may require you to have a higher gpa so please check out this university and that's which they have to offer you as an international student the next university is delaware state university and the acceptance rate is 55.55 percent and they have funding like this university has funding that the minimum gpa is 2.5 as well as a scholastic average of 3.0 in the major on a 2.0 point system so 
the minimum is 2.5. So the next university on this list is Eastern Michigan University, and the acceptance rate is 87%, which is very high. Now, regarding the admission policy for grad school, you need a minimum of 2.7 undergraduate cumulative GPA. So Eastern Michigan University attended the school, and I know that they have funding for international students. So take advantage of this opportunity. The next university is Wayne State University, and the acceptance rate is 75.3%. I applied to this school. This school is a very, very, very good school, and is in Michigan. Now, for application for master's, you need an average between 2.5 and 2.74 from your undergraduate program. So please check out this university and I wish you all the best from my heart. I hope you find this video very helpful even as you navigate this new even as we navigate the process of applying to grad school in the United States. I did a video about the step-by-step -step process of applying to grad school in the United States. This um this this video Yes, I'm going to drop the link in the description box. Please check it out. I gave a, a simplified step-by-step -step analysis of applying to grad school in the United States as an international student. And to meet again in our next video, before we go, please, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. And if you've not liked the video, please click on the like button. To meet again in our next video, remember this year, take those baby steps because great vision, great thoughts, and greatness lie on the premise of small baby steps. Thank you so much and bye-bye.